Hello there, in this video we're going to take a look at how easy it is to export a project out of Cubasis 3 and import it into Cubase. Go to this link here to download and install the latest Cubasis importer. Next up, we have to go over to the Cubasis app. To start with, we need to go to the Media tab and the Project tab. And now you can see my project, which is called Jam. I'm going to click on the Share button, and now I have a number of different options. I have an iMac, which is right here. So I'm using AirDrop to instantly transfer this file directly from my iPad across to my desktop machine. But it's really up to you, and there really are so many different methods or options, and it depends on what you have installed on your iPad. So for example, I can use Gmail to email the compressed file across onto my desktop, or I could use G Drive or Dropbox. So there's so many different options, and it will depend very much on what you have installed on your iPad. Once the file's transferred over to your computer, you can uncompress it or unzip it, go to the File menu, Import, and select Cubasis Project. Now you need to find that Cubasis file, and it will ask you if you want to create a new project. And of course, you'll be prompted to store all of the new files in a specific folder. Now it's just a matter of waiting for it to import, and as it's importing, it's going to load all of the instruments, effects, and anything else that I've added to my Cubasis project, providing it's all in-house inside of Cubasis. Now that it's opened up, I'm just putting my left and right and lower zones down so it looks more like a Cubase project. And now I can go to each individual track and I can see the Cubase instruments loading up on the track as I click on the little piano icon. And I've got two retro logs there and I've also got Halion Sonic SE3. So this gives us some idea of the power of the instruments that are included in Cubasis. When you start to load them up in Cubase, you realize just how incredible these plugins are. And of course, it's not just the included plugins. Now that we're in Cubase, we can start to add all of the Cubase plugins on top of our Cubasis project. So it's a really powerful tool for capturing ideas on the fly in Cubasis and then transferring them over across into Cubase. And of course, you can see all the inserts and effects that I added to this project inside of Cubasis. So there's lots of different things that you can do in terms of capturing an initial idea and then bringing it over into Cubase and then further adding production values to your Cubasis idea using the full power of Cubase. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. Please like this video if you've learned something and do leave us comments letting us know how you're using Cubasis 3 to be creative with your music. I'll catch you soon.